Hi, and welcome to Tellurium Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to run a Gillespie simulation of a system. The Gillespie simulation uses a common known algorithm for running stochastic simulations of systems. So, in order to begin, let's write a very simple one reaction system where x goes to blank. x is just being consumed, there's no products. Now we're going to run our rate law with k1 as our rate constant, star x, and then we go x equals, we're going to say 200 to start. And this is the total number of molecules in the system. Before, our simulations had x being the concentration, but when we're running Gillespie simulations, x is the total number of molecules. Then we'll just define our rate constant, k1 equals... 1, that's semicolons, okay, then we go m equals r dot Gillespie, I'm going to go from time 0 to time 40. And now we don't specify the number of points we want because the points will occur randomly. Then we're going to go r dot plot M. So, when we run this, we can see that we have this graph of a very jagged line that shows x decreasing over time. The reason it's jagged is because the way a Gillespie simulation works is because it has the reaction occur at a random time. Therefore, each time the reaction occurs, it will produce a random number of products, therefore using up a random amount of x, and it will occur at random points in time. Thus, we will not get a smooth graph. If we were to decrease the molecules and keep the same number of time, we'll decrease to 20, we can see that we have a very jagged graph. And if we increase them, let's say we want to go to 400, we can see that the graph will smooth out. So here we have the three different versions, one with the middle of the road number of molecules, one with very few, one with a lot more over the same amount of time. And you can see that the more the molecules, the more the random reactions are going to occur over the same time period, thus the smoother the graph is going to appear. Now you know how to use the Gillespie algorithm to run basic stochastic simulations of your systems.